alliance with Croatia. With negative trust, and the only way to get trust is favors. Very good. So that'll all be taken care of now. Ooh, that's a bit of a problem. Haha, <laughs> no. No, it is not a problem. You could just take Ankara and walk. They've thrown everything into this fucking battle. Right there. And they lost it. Sooner or later, like, uh, whatchamahuzits is gonna fall. Spart friggin' Sicily's capital. They're gonna be knocked out of the war. That'll help. So, side note. I should really check what loyal- what is your loyalty issue right now. Uh, all vassal relative power to me is apparently that much. Jesus Christ. I don't think you actually understand, but... A little scootage. I might. That's not a big deal. I have enough money in reserve right now. Alright. So, we're going to continue our attack up along Castamon here, with the goal of completely knocking them out of the war. Let's see to Salonica. Yeah. Transylvania is becoming problematic, but I chose to fight this front. And I'm committed right now. It's not as if though we're just totally winning or anything, so... <laughs> Whatever. Alright, they've launched an attack on us. Foolhardy. They apparently were looking to try and retreat through. A bold strategy. Ah, good. Kosovo is now the culture we desire. Did not to say... Did I click Illyrian? Well, fuck it, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Greek it. Cry now bloody loud. Alright. That was my mistake. I'm a great A moron. Was not paying anywhere near enough attention. So, the Sicilian capital still has yet to fall. And I'm starting to lose a lot of my land up there. It's getting kind of concerning. It's not actually all that big a deal, but... It's going to start hurting me economically. And start to raise my war exhaustion at a rather rapid rate. I'm not sure if I'm comfortable with. Alright. So, once this region up here is occupied, then we can come back down here, make sure these guys are kicked out again, and the Sicilian capital will sooner or later fall. I don't think it actually matters, but, uh, war enthusiasm. Mm -hmm. Apparently, Castamon's still counting to their war strength, which is ridiculous. I mean, Castamon will bankrupt before this war is over, at this rate. Alright. I mean, to be fair, so will I if this continues. And I mean, I'm also running out of manpower. <laughs> AI? They're probably willing to quit just about everything they've got trying to contain me. Because that's how the AI plays. Actually, rather quite silly of them. 
Even the peasants. Even the peasants. Start. Alright, right. Freaking coalition war after actually own everything. Alright. We have superiority over them as well, so it's not like uh I don't like they're even coming close to winning or anything. I mean, at this point, I have no overextension left, so I can just take a lot. <laughs> Suddenly, you're realizing how terrible of an idea this coalition war was, huh? Alright, with 80%. I can walk away with this. Deal. <laughs> and suddenly the empire grows. And I have a... Doesn't that even out to an automatic minus 100 at the very least? I wasn't aware I could have that. Interesting. Okay, so both the clergy and the nobility want more land. Fair enough. Hey, clergy, have that. Uh, nobility. Here. Good. Alright. Clergy and the nobility grow. Very good. Got it on. Man, this, is, this has been long and harsh. And now their capital's occupied by peasant rebels. <laughs> <laughs> Too many diplomatic relations. Thrace and Salerno. Good point. I didn't even notice that uh, warning there until recently. Okay, things we need. This. And this. Olu, convert that shit now. How's the revolts doing? I don't need. Yeah, there's a lot of places. Just need, uh, need to get to work on. Most of this is actually war exhaustion right now. Unfortunately, we can't repair that. Ah, well. We very quickly managed to eclipse the uh, local powers. I'm hoping to uh, improve things with uh, our lovely little vassal here. Excellent. 93. 93. Making them loyal would be very helpful, actually. So, we can now have 31 land force limits. Nice. 31's pretty good. Hard to, hard to, hard to deny that. Border tensions, splendid. You know what I don't care about right now? Wherever the hell that is, apparently it's right there. Yeah, no. We have enough land for the moment, I think. Yeah, no, that's fine. Get the power. We need all the power. Boy, do we need all the power. Mm hmm. Adani separatists. They need to be suppressed. Push them down. War exhaustion's dropping. Thus, so is all revolt risk. Like I said, it's pretty much actually over this year. There'll be point 0.1 left after this year, assuming legitimacy doesn't climb up and uh, fix that issue. So, let's see. Castamon, Bozok, and Kara. Plovdiv. Excellent. Yeah, it kind of did get delayed. Alright, superior unit types. Um, Armenian Heavy Infantry, very good. The nobility has been curtailed. Excellent. Undisputed leader of the country and stand formally. Used by the nobility in place of a signature has been destroyed. <laughs> yeah. Aiden is no longer a valid rival for us. That's not actually all that surprising. 
All right. Plus the Manu is the next goal. Canic. Mm -hmm. And that will probably take care of everything. Aidani Separatist, now to cast Amonis. Oh shit, you know what I need for them? I never gave them local autonomy. Whoops. Yeah, there. And since that's, uh, converted down to Hellenicism. Oh my god. Aiden converted to Chalicedonian. Well, we probably left them in the state that caused that, but... That's unfortunate! But, uh, it only highlights our need to destroy them. They, however, have earned a reprieve, and will not be attacked by me until the year 2040. That I guarantee. <laughs> a very, very, very important reprieve for them. Twenty forty. In the year twenty forty, we will destroy Aiden once and for all. But not until then. I'm not touching that shit. Uh -uh. But at least for the moment, we've secured the Greek lands against the Helen or against the uh, Christians. We are the Helens. <laughs> all right. And well, the era of negative diplomatic power is coming to an end. Unfortunately, the other. Uh, well, I mean, we don't get any revolt risk for it, so... It's fine. Legitimacy continues to increase. And overall, I mean, the country's pretty healthy. Hmm. I'm gonna split the army up. And try and reduce revolt risk a little bit more. It's pretty low now. It is pretty low. We just kind of have to hold on for a little while. Yeah. It just dropped by 0.5. So we're pretty much just trying to hold on until war exhaustion drops. But now it's at 90%. It's 130. I'm not going to. I'm going to gamble. Good government policies. Use money to increase stability. Ironically enough, putting an end to the rebel issue. Perfect. Rebels will not be a problem any longer. The Greek state grows in power. Mm hmm. There isn't much uh, Greek we have left to conquer. Georgian is. Strange, because I thought it used to be a uh, Byz in the Byzantine culture. Apparently, it's not anymore. It's in a separate one with Armenian, Caucasian, it would appear. Yeah, Avar and Circassian, Aramian, Assyrian, Babylonian—they're all in a group. Okay, that's acceptable. Israeli and Jewish. Hmm. Fair enough. That's a side note. How goes Asherism? It's not spreading very effectively, I see. <laughs> yeah. That is a problem. The Chalcedonian threat has... Yeah, they're not in Europe anymore. Chalcedonianism has been, at least for the time being, removed from Europa. Ain't it glorious? And soon we'll have it removed from, uh... From the rest of the map, too. <laughs> I don't think we're going to have too many issues with the Christians. Because while it may be... It, well, that's not true. I shouldn't say that yet. It's kind of going to be tricky with this. Because around the year 300, the spreading is going to get worse. But there's so few provinces compared to what there is now. That the amount of time it will take to spread and get up to the critical levels. That it's at before. I think we'll be just fine. Also, Jesus Christ. Okay, Egypt. Sure thing, buddy. Alright, whatever you say. Whatever you say. Yes, sir, e Bob. Alright. 
Alright. We need to uh, slowly start gathering up uh, the rest of these Hellenic provinces in the Middle East. They are our allies, and it'll be a lot easier to expand on them, even with uh, unaccepted cultures. I mean, that's only plus two revolt risk for us, so... It's handleable. We are in pretty good shape. If we could get full legitimacy, we'll have no problem. Stability is key. Remember that. Stability is key. Gather your strength, then. And minus 62, that's good. So, some disloyalties. My diplomatic reputation is shit. They have better diplomatic technology than me. They hate me and relative power to me. Now, I am in disagreement over the relative power statement, but very well. We've found that we'll be able to uh, contain and control all this anyway. It's only Pontic and Cappadocian left to convert anyway. All the Greek lands are ours and cord. Proper. Alright. Very good. And nothing will stand in our way. Yeah, 41%. Relative on throne. Male scutage. Alright, so it appears... I th for some reason I thought I could not... I thought I could, uh... You know. Like, take a province from them or something. Mm, please them greatly, yes. I'm sure it would. But apparently I can't. Darn. Darn. I'm concerned, though, with our southern border being Chalcedonian for the next... 25 years. It's going to make things complicated, actually. Because that means there's a huge risk of overflow and spread. It must be contained. Chalcedonian there. I mean, actually, like, Chalcedonian has been pretty well contained by the fact that we uh, have so many countries that can actually take up. Hmm. Okay. Well, maintain the freaking diplomat anyway. We're slowly getting uh, that together. Prospering times. Well, so much for Castamone. It was fun while it lasted. <laughs> so for all that uh, fucking work I did to take that fucking province, huh? God, I hate this. So much. Ah, well. Legitimacy is increasing. We're in good shape. We're in good shape. Anything we need to do? No? Well, looks like a good time to end the episode then. There we are. Begin the coring of the last provinces. It's been a long episode and I'll probably have to divide it up, but that's okay. I really do hope people are enjoying uh, the new 20 to 30, 20 to 25 minute episode links that I'm doing rather than uh, the 15 to 20 I usually do for the series. It's an experiment, like I said. We'll find out if people enjoy it or not. Alright. Yeah, so there's no way to steal a province, darn. I gotta loyalty the clergy. And Kara. Over extensions, 12%. Our empire grows. Our empire grows. So. Culture conversions. Eh, not worth it yet. And everything else is out of spending range. We're doing our best. We're doing our best. Classical era, yeah. 220. Christ, development. So speaking of which, also, how close are we to King? Well, let's see. We've recently lost about, what? In this recording session alone? 372. Correction. We would be, we can be a King, can't we? 
Or is there a reason for fronting us? At least 50 prestige, of course. No comet, devil's kith and kin. Very good. They'll do that. Mm-hmm. Uh, Thrace's opinion to me is at least going up pretty quickly. I mean... Eh. Eh. Alright, so all of our cores are gotten. No negative stability. So for now, it is time to go. Say goodbye, everybody. And I thank you all for watching. Oh, sweet Lord Jesus, I have so many more of those to build. And at some point... Change all the cultures. <laughs> I'm gonna try. Culture adjacent to Burgess. Is that correct? I guess over the water. I'm just trying to figure out why this is yellow and this is like reddish. Whereas over here, Thrasian is green. Original culture of Kosovo. Ah, oh, I see. Okay, good to know. Alright, that makes sense then. So, finish things off. Today, I guess uh, Sophia is up next then? 